Being physically ready to compete is crucial for any athlete searching for success. Staying true to a comprehensive strength and conditioning program is at the core of this. The definition of strength and conditioning is any method of improving muscular strength by gradually increasing the ability to resist force through the use of free weights, machines or your own body weight. The key aims of strength and conditioning is to develop strong, robust athletes with deep physical reserves. And of course, to help with injury prevention. I think strength and conditioning is a platform to um, achieve your potential. If I just relied on my skills alone, I wouldn't have the strength, the power, the durability to go out and be as effective on the ice. There's definitely a lot of gym stuff you gotta do to get your knees in shape and I mean we try and do that before we get hurt as well just to prevent that. I want to be strong, I want to be powerful and I want to be fast and if you see the best athletes they are mobile, they are strong and they have a huge movement bubble. Any athlete's strength and conditioning program should be driven by their individual needs. And any sport, no matter how physical, needs a strength and conditioning program. We do quite a lot of cable work, um, balance work, and also with the med ball trying to strengthen our core. It's helping to prevent quite a lot of injuries, so that's, that's really important. But also, an overall general fitness is really important because you can almost go too specific that you forget about the whole muscle groups as well. I min sport så er eksplosivitet og styrke viktigste sporten er starten. Så styrke og, og sprint, det har jeg trent på så mye, så det har, det har vist seg at det har funket. I had a program and I filled out a diary at the end of every day so my trainer could see what I had done. And knowing that he was going to see what I'd done pushed me harder in the gym um, and it made me a much stronger athlete. Some sport entails, say, you know, being able to generate force vertically, whereas other sports, you, you, you know that creating horizontal force, such as sprinting, is, is very important. So you have to always have the specifics of the sport in mind when you design a strength and conditioning program. There's some great info and tips in a series of videos on strength and conditioning on the Athlete Learning Gateway. Check them out! Yeah.